Hi guys, this video is all to do with how you're going to approach the Christmas period to make sure that you're both working efficiently and effectively but also making sure you're having a proper break. And the reason I say this is because next summer, June and May, when you're sitting your exams, you're going to look back at Christmas because it was a good six months before and you're going to probably wish that you'd relaxed and had a proper break. And it is so important that you do allow yourself to rest and not feel guilty. And the best way in which to do this is to get organised. Get a revision plan in place that you follow strictly and then outside of that revision plan you can actually enjoy yourself, see your friends, see your family and enjoy Christmas. But it's so important that you're super organised. Now, if you have mocks after Christmas, obviously these are really important so it is important that you structure your day properly. And so my suggestion is that you break up your day into the morning, afternoon and evening period and make sure you work between one or two of those periods a day. So if you decide to work in the morning, you decide to work in the evening, then you can take the afternoon off to go Christmas shopping with your friends and not feel guilty. Then the next day you could decide that you're meeting people in the morning, so you decide to work in the afternoon and the evening. But by being nice and organised, by working one or two of those periods a day, you'll make sure you cover everything that you need to cover, but equally you're going to give yourself lots of time off and clearly give yourself Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, etc, etc. Give yourself whole days off. You don't need to be working every day and nor should you feel guilty if you're not. And obviously I've said this in other videos, but keep your revision sessions nice and short. People can't concentrate for an extended amount of time. So if that means only working for 20 minutes at a time, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure you're away from the screen, so not looking at Snapchat, not on Insta, make sure you're actually putting in some hard work because there's nothing worse than sitting there for three hours and knowing that you've been looking at your phone for two of those hours, the guilt is horrendous. So if you sit there for 20 minutes and work hard, then you know you can have five minutes off to check your phone. And so to this end, I really recommend keeping your phone in a separate room to actually avoid any of these distractions. And so by the time you go back to school in January and you face your mocks, you know that you've planned out your whole of your Christmas holidays really well and hopefully you've managed to have lots of fun too. I hope this video helped you with your plan, your approach to Christmas. And Merry Christmas guys! I hope you have an amazing time. I hope you see lots of great people eat amazing food because I know that's the bit I'm most looking forward to. And I'll be back soon in the new year with lots of new content. Don't forget to like and subscribe and take care.